Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cypress series. In the previous video, we learned how we can configure Cypress dashboard and we also saw the test replay feature which is newly introduced in Cypress version 30. So last time we saw where we can see the test replay button on the Cypress dashboard. But the main reason behind introducing test replay is because earlier the test case which were getting filled in your CI-CD pipeline, the developers or the automation engineers were not able to debug it properly. They were able to access the screenshot and the videos, but in order to have more control over your DOM elements, over your network calls, it was not possible earlier because we could just see the logs and the screenshots and it was not sufficient. So that is the reason why Cypress introduced this new feature, which is test replay. So now in case if your test case is failing on your CI CD pipeline, and if you want to share that failure test case with your developer, or you want to debug it, so now you can rerun the test case. You can see what happened exactly on the CI CD. Because what happens is the test case runs uh, perfectly fine on your local machine, but does not work on the CI CD pipeline. So that is the reason why Cypress introduced this test replay. And today we will see with the CI CD pipeline how it works with the CI CD pipeline. So if you have not watched my previous videos for the end to end framework creation, where we used page object model and we created different page classes, right? And we have same test cases. We are using the same test cases as part of this video as well. What we will do earlier, we already changed one locator. If you can see over here, I changed one locator so that my test case failed. Same thing we were running on the local machine. Today we will run it through CI CD pipeline. So I already have few workflows configured. I can see over here in the dot GitHub workflows. We have multiple workflows configured already. So let's see this build.yml, right? We have multiple steps in which we are checking out the code from GitHub repository. Then we are running our test case, which is add to cart. So what is add to cart over here? Add to cart is a script which is added in package.json, which is, so this is a script. So what we will do with this script, we'll also add our record key. So just copy this one and paste it to a script for add to cart. So I'll just paste it over here. So now this is our add to cart script and as part of our build.yml, which is this workflow file. So what we will do, we will first of all, check out the code from GitHub repository and then run your Cypress test case. And afterwards it will generate the report and send you Slack notification also. Okay. So this is our end to end workflow. This workflow we, we have already covered in the previous video. If you want to check, we'll just attach the link description. So you can check the videos also. This video, we are covering test replay feature. So I'm not going to explain this again. You can watch that video. So let's push our code and then we will see how is test replay working for your CI/CD pipeline. Okay. Let's see that. So go to my terminal. I'll just push my code. Let's do git add and then I'll push the code. Our code is pushed. Let's go to GitHub repo. So this is my GitHub repo. And if we go to the actions tab, we would see different workflows getting triggered over here, right? And what is our workflow? Our workflow was build.yml, this one, and the name is regression end to end, fine? So this is regression end to end. Let's click on this one. Okay. And we can see the execution happening over here. Meanwhile, in the parallel, I will open my Cypress dashboard also. In the previous video, you might know we already configured Cypress dashboard and I just opened the default project because we had single project and I see three jobs. And if you want to see, if you want to find the exact job run, what you can do, just go to your GitHub actions and in the actions tab, just click on the workflow file in the Cypress run logs. In the end, you see recorded run, which run the run number seven. So this is the run for my regression end to end build.yml file. For this one, let's say we had one test case, which got failed, which is add to card. And if I click on this one, you see now test replay button showing over here, right? This is really amazing. And earlier it was just screenshot in the videos, but now you can replay the test case. You can actually see where it is failing. So it will show you the exact error where it got failed and uh, which machine it was executed. So you can see this is my Linux machine. On the GitHub action, the workflow is actually running on your Linux machine. If you see the checkout, this is checking out the code and then it is running on the Linux machine and the browser is Electron. So same thing we can see in Cypress dashboard also. So over here we can the OS is Linux and Electron is the browser over there. So we can see the network calls also, right? If you want to see the network calls, like I explained in the previous video, if you want to see the request response, you can see from here, right? What is the response body? What happened in case of query parameter? And if you want to see other calls, you can see all the calls, all the information you can get from here. And where exactly it's filled, you can drag. And if you want to change the speed of the replay, we can change that also from here. Let's say, let's make it 
point two five and let's execute the test case once more and let's see. So if I execute the test case now, now it is running a bit slow because I changed the speed to point two five instead of one x. You can change it also. It's also very helpful in debugging. So you can see it is getting executed slowly now, and all the API calls, all the network API calls, you can see over here on the right side. This is how you can replay your test case when your test case gets failed in your CI/CD pipeline. You can have access to console and inspect also. So what you have to do, you have to shift and C. You can access tabs. You can access your Chrome Dev Tools basically, and you can inspect also. So this is very helpful. Earlier, what happened? So earlier, what happened when you were executing your test case on CI/CD pipeline? It used to fail, but with screenshots and videos, it was not. It was not sufficient to debug, right? But now you can access it. You can actually rerun your test case and let and you can see where it is failing. It gives you a proper. Live view of that, and you can see the environment is also same, and the browser is also same. This is how you can use the new test replay feature in Cypress, and this is not only for web test case; it is applicable for UI, for API, as well as for component test cases. They have clearly mentioned on their official website this is applicable for all type of testing, and this is a game changer for Cypress. You can see a different attempted to run it for three test cases. You can check for all the three test cases. And over here also, you see all the menu tabs. What is the browser name? What is the OS name? What is the test case name? Everything, all the information is pretty much clear. But here, all hover over it, you can see a test replay button. And if I click on it, so you can access it both ways. You can access from here, or you can just click on this and access it from here. So you can access it from both ways. This is about test replay feature. Earlier we saw. how we were running on the local machine and then we were checking over here in the cypress dashboard the test replay but the main use case main uh, idea why they introduced it this is for the ci cd pipeline if your test case are getting filled on ci cd pipeline you can actually debug it you can see where it is getting filled with the proper access to your dom elements and your execution so if you're already using cypress dashboard then you can just upgrade to version 13 and it will be automatically added to your dashboard you don't have to do anything extra any extra configuration which you have to do nothing it will come by default with just upgrading your version to cypress 13 and over here we can see the videos are by default false but we can change the settings from cypress.config.js to make it true also so what you have to do if you want to see let's see uh, enable the video and let's see for that also just go to your cypress.config.js over here and over here what we will do we will just pass like this we have to make video as true So by default, this is made false in version thirty. We just have to make it true in Cypress dot config dot js, and then it will be it will be enabled on your dash. Let's push this code and let's see and let's go to GitHub and over here a workflow will be triggered. You see workflows are getting triggered, and this is our regression end to end workflow. And let's see for this one. Let's wait for it to end, and we can directly access our dashboard from the link provided in the Cypress. So let's. So now this is executed, and we can directly access the dashboard link from here. Scroll down, and over here you can see recorded run. And just click on this one. It will take you to your Cypress dashboard. And on the Cypress dashboard, we will see this. Run and if I click on this one now, you see watch video. So earlier it was disabled, but we enabled it by changing the settings in your Cypress dot config dot js, and we can see the video now. With video, you can't access your DOM elements, but with test replay, you can access your DOM elements. You can access the network tab, console tab, and your element tab also. This is. it about the test replay and uh, this is really helpful this is very useful for debugging purpose if your test case is failing now you can actually replay your test case and see where it is failing exactly on the ci cd pipeline right so i hope you like the content please like share and subscribe to the channel and you can also share it with your friends who are learning cypress or who wants to learn cypress from scratch you can just share so thanks for watching